how to be the most interesting person in the room. How to be the most interesting person in any room, actually. Hello, my beautiful darlings. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today, we're going to talk about habits of highly intelligent and captivating women. Because to be truly captivating and mesmerizing, it needs to be more than just your look. Smart women attract the best partners. They attract the best jobs. They make the most money. And they know how to be truly strategic much like the femme fatale. You know how much I love this archetype. I talk constantly about the femme fatale and her power. And a big part of her feminine allure is her intelligence. She is sharp and quick-witted. She is smart. You cannot manipulate her like that. This is where lays most of her power. And we want to be high-value women on this channel, and I believe that high-value women are way more than just look. So how to make ourselves more intelligent, more cultivated, to really be the full package? Because I do not like the stereotype of beautiful women are stupid, or to be intelligent, you have to not look good in some way, or you cannot be taken seriously if you take care of yourself and if you're highly feminine I do not like those stereotypes I want to challenge those stereotypes with you I want us to be the full package I want us to be true high value it's intellect it's mindset it's physical it's everything it's confident the most successful women that were able to attract the best partners also had a brain they were also really intelligent I love multiple examples but when you think about Ama Clooney she is high value, she's educated, she's beautiful. When you think about Jackie Kennedy, she is so classy, so educated, so beautiful, and she was very smart in her approach with men. I want to do a video about her, by the way. She was, she was something. A high value man will want a woman that is more than just looks, because beautiful women are everywhere. Beautiful women, it's easy. It's easy to be beautiful, but to have a true high value mindset, to have values, to be truly educated, to give the best education to your future children and to his future children, and also for you and to develop yourself and become the best version of yourself. So if you want to know all of the habits of highly captivating and intelligent women, keep on watching. But first, just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, I talk about fashion, femininity, old Hollywood glamour, seduction dating, and anything to make you become a highly feminine lady and to upgrade your confidence, feel free to join the channel, the link is down below, and also follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok, and to become this high value femme fatale that I'm talking about, the power that she holds. She enter any room and she possess the room. She make men go crazy about her and she has men wrapped around her little finger and men will treat her like an absolute queen. If you want to become her, if you want to become this new version of you, your own femme fatale, feel free to join the femme fatale siren course. The link is down below. It will transform you from head to toe, from your mindset to your physical appearance, everything to become the best version of yourself. And also I have a body language masterclass because let's be honest, body language is also a big power. So if you want to join all of the courses, the links are down below. Habits of intelligent and captivating women. And I have to say in my experience, people are quite surprised with my level of intellect and of depth and what I can talk about in my conversations. So the first habit of intelligent and captivating women is that they are master at communication. They are articulate and persuasive. So highly captivating women know how to communicate effectively. They will speak with clarity and purpose, balancing intellect and emotional intelligence. So that means that they're gonna be graceful with their emotions and not lash out in front of everybody, which make their conversations engaging and impactful. When you're able to regulate your emotions, you communicate more effectively. I have a video about how to master your emotions. I will link it below. When you able to do that you are able to obtain way more from other people and especially from men when you're able to communicate in a feminine way they they love that calm confident demeanor i i think that intelligent women mostly have emotional intelligence towards themselves and towards others so that means that they will know when to say what they will know that there are certain subjects that 
you shouldn't really talk about with some people. They know how to navigate conversations and to not offend other people. They know what subject to say and what subject to avoid. And they know also how to protect themselves in terms of what kind of information they share. You know that you should not share all of your information to people. And sometimes you have some little techniques to just avoid saying too much to people. And they ask a lot of questions like, where are you from? What are you doing? And da -da 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 -da. And they ask more and more and more and especially with what I'm doing on YouTube oh my god people are so curious they ask so many questions and sometimes those questions are inappropriate like some people would even ask me how much I make it's not something you should ask and so to navigate those type of conversations even the toughest one even the ones that you don't really know what to respond. You have some little techniques. You're allowed to protect yourself and in that case, you can switch the light onto them. You can ask them questions instead of you being like, ask so many questions. And I have a video on how to deal with toxic people, by the way, I will link it below as well because that is, that is truly a thing, how to deal with toxic people, but in an elegant, high value way. So I think that intelligent women, they know how to be assertive sometimes, or they know how to be soft sometimes, to soften their tone or to be more assertive in some cases, because you need to know how to navigate conversations. People can be unpredictable. Being able to manage your emotions really help you how to navigate those kind of conversations because people can trigger you. People can try to trigger you, but no, you are that femme fatale energy. You're not gonna get triggered by them. They don't have that power over you. Next habit of highly intelligent women is committing to lifelong learning. So that means that they always wanna learn. When we were children, when we were kids, we were learning a lot. We were learning a lot of information. We were just little sponges learning everything, learning how to behave, learning at school, learning a new language, learning this and that. There were always something to learn, but once you become an adult, in some way, there's a certain contentment. People will think that they know it all. It's okay, I'm an adult. I have everything figured out. Even though that's not true, we can still always learn new things. If you want to be a highly interesting person, you need to continue learning new things every single day. This is how you have a healthy brain. They actually prove that if you continue learning new things, if you continue to use your brain again and again, you will have less chance to have dementia. The people that live the longest and the healthiest are the people that constantly improve, constantly want to learn new things. And it doesn't have to be something huge. It can just be about reading a book, people that still work and that still have hobbies, for example, after they're 80, they are still full of energy because you constantly make your brain function. It's not stagnant and you don't want a stagnant brain. And you also want to be an interesting person, an interesting charismatic person that really people are captivated by is a person that is curious and that want to learn every single day. Reading books really upgrade your vocabulary. It upgrades your creativity because you have have to use your imagination to imagine what is going on in the book. So even if it's just a fiction and you don't technically learn anything, you do learn something because when you read a fiction, you create an imaginary word in your head of what is happening, of what is the story about. And so you make your brain really function. It is really beautiful. Also, I love self-help book, obviously. Uh, it makes you question interactions with people or your own self-development. If you are on this channel, you are already on this path of always learning, of always improving. And read the books that spark your interest the most. It doesn't have to be something extraordinary that as an, it doesn't have to be the most difficult book. It can just be a book that you truly enjoy. On top of it, you're gonna be in your feminine energy and you're gonna have fun. So I have to say, sometimes people, they don't want to learn something new because they think that it's gonna to be too hard or that they have to be an expert at it to be able to learn it. For example, a lot of people don't wanna dance because they don't know how to dance and they're afraid to be ridiculous, but you will never learn how to dance if you don't try if you don't start trying, if you don't get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And I assure you, you don't have to be perfect at everything. 
learning new things. You can even be bad at something and trying to learn. This is still improvement. This is still good. Remember when we were a child and I love that because it, it really tapped into your feminine energy when you tap into your childlike energy. We would do something without worrying, without really worrying if we were good at it or not. We did not worry what people think. We would just do it because it's fun. Okay, and I want you to have the same mentality. Just try it because it's fun. You wanna try ice skating? Okay, I'm really bad at ice skating. But I think it's fun trying anyway. It's fun trying, and even if I'm not becoming the best at it, it's okay. For example, I'm really good at belly dance, but I'm really bad at singing, for example, okay? So if I wanted to just stay on my comfort zone, I would just do belly dance, and that's it. But then I also want to try things that I absolutely do not know how to do. Anything can be learned. That's the spirit that you need to have. And this is how you become the ultimate interesting person. This is how you become truly confident also because the more you achieve things, the more you see that you're capable to doing this and that, the more you see how capable you are, the more confident you're gonna be. You need to get out of your comfort zone and try new things every single day. Next advice I would say is be curious. Ask questions talk to people talk even to new people talk to people from different cultures than yours try to visit different countries that has nothing to do with you i want to visit japan everything even just moving to dubai for me is completely different from europe when i come to new york also the culture is very different i love to step out of my comfort zone go see a show that you've never seen before that you would not see normally break out of your routine be unpredictable sometimes be a little bit adventurous you know it makes you even more attractive to men men love excitement they love adventure they love women that are a little bit having that je ne sais quoi, that adventurous spirit. So if you're able to be that curious person, then it's just like, okay, let's try that. Let's try that. That's attractive. That's magnetic. Like be genuinely curious when you don't know a subject, for example, just ask, just ask questions about it. You can talk with me about any kind of subject, honestly. I love talking about science, medicine, history. Oh my God, fashion, obviously, even the history of fashion movies obviously feminine energy and relationships and anthropology and even architecture travels in my life i have always been curious about everything even when i was younger i was really fascinated by fashion and everything super girly but at the same time i was also fascinated by the planets and the universe and the solar system you know so i was very diversifying myself in terms of my interests sometimes people know better than you you need to accept like sometimes people know better than you and i love to learn from other people and their experiences and it's it makes you smarter like curiosity is truly a superpower i think and i think the most captivating and intelligent women have that inner curiosity when you're curious you are an interesting person you are the most interesting person in the room intelligent women are always expanding their understanding of the world engaging in thought-provoking discussion I love having debates, okay? I'm French, it's part of our culture. <laughs> French people are very into culture and debates and talking about anything, honestly. Just history, documentaries, being very knowledgeable on a subject and going very deep on a subject. You differentiate yourself from other people, from other women just obsessed with Instagram and obsessed with just nothing actually <laughs> just if you're not just one dimensional you love many things and from exploring art and culture i love art honestly i love art as well i can spend my whole day in the louvre in paris i can spend the whole day there honestly this is fascinating to me i love it i can spend my whole day in versailles this is so stunning. I love museums. You always add new dimensions to your intellect. And this is how you are never going to be someone that is not interesting. Like you're always going to be interesting. You always reinvent yourself. You always improve and you always change and try new things. Next is being open-minded. I think highly interesting women are open-minded and they welcome other people's ideas. Maybe you don't agree with that person. That does not mean that you're willing to shut them down. No, you're smarter than that. You welcome their ideas and you actually challenge your own ideas. Be open to receive and be like, oh, okay, they think that way and I think completely differently, but 
This is interesting what they say. You are willing to consider other people's point of view and don't hesitate to truly listen to other people's perspective and practice some empathy and, and step back from your own perspective sometimes and be more understanding of like those people maybe have a different life, different experiences. It helps being more calm and measured with your interactions. It helps you have this unbothered queen, calm demeanor, and it can break through your limiting beliefs also. Sometimes you have limiting beliefs and if you listen to somebody else, then you'd be like, oh wow, oh no, actually I was wrong. That's actually possible. Like if you have this limiting belief, for example, of I will never lose weight or whatever, and you see your friend, she's actually losing weight. You're like, and she explained to you how she did it and how she changed her food and how she changed the way she eats and everything. You're like, oh wow, she actually did it. You challenge your own limiting belief. It's actually possible. Same with finding a good provider man. Oh, it's impossible to find a provider man. No, provider men don't exist. I had a lovely client recently and she asked me, but do they exist? Like, is it possible to find a provider man? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> of course they exist. You challenge your own limiting beliefs by doing this, by being open to other people's ideas. It can actually benefit you and elevate you. Highly intelligent women also have critical thinking. They question, they analyze, they like to explore various perspectives and make well-rounded decisions. They, they don't have this mindset of black or white, you know, like this black or white mindset of everything is good or everything is bad or this is good and this is... They have more subtlety. They know that not everything is black or white. They know that there's gray area in everything. They don't have this tendency to dramatize everything in that way. They're able to be well-rounded with how they think. Their critical thinking skills allow them to approach problems creatively and logically. They are also strategic thinker with goals. As I talked about Jackie Kennedy, she was a strategic thinker. A lot of them are. A lot of women that are highly successful and smart, they are strategic in how they think. They plan ahead, for example, not just for immediate success, but for sustained growth in all area of life. They're a bit bold. They know that to obtain certain things, sometimes you have to take risk and you have to be bold. That's just like, you know, dressing well, dressing feminine, you have to be a bit bold. <laughs> you have to be a bit bold for that, right? Uh, a lot of people, they don't want to attract too much attention on them. They're afraid of what people will think. To try a new career, for example, you have to be a bit bold. To change country, same thing. To go for high value men, you also have to have confidence and be a bit bold. They're a bit more risk taker because they want to be out of their comfort zone. And in that case, they're able to really achieve success. You can, for example, create a vision board or a list of your long-term goals that you want to achieve. The art of presence. One of the most captivating thing about very intelligent and interesting women is their ability to be fully present in a conversation, to be good listeners. It makes their words more impactful and you can have very intelligent people that do not do that, by the way. But I think that these are intelligent and the most interesting and captivating people. So it's not just about, oh, I'm intelligent. I knew this and this and this. You have people that are know-it-all like this, but they don't have the best conversational skills and they're not as captivating because they are too self-centered, so too self-oriented. Like they're, they want the attention on them and they monopolize the conversation just talking, 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 talking. And this is not what you want. If you want to be perceived as truly interesting, intelligent, high value, then this is about listening, making others feel special. You are truly charming in that way. The biggest power of highly intelligent and captivating women is without a doubt their effortless confidence. They exude a quiet confidence that doesn't rely on external validation. They know their worth and they draw people with their self-assured demeanor. The most captivating people tend to be authentic. You embrace your strength and your imperfections. That's how you cultivate true confidence is when you accept yourself fully and you're proud of it. You know what you bring to the table, you know how amazing you are, and you even love your imperfections. That's like another level of confidence. Like 
you love everything about yourself even my imperfections and you don't even see them as imperfections and sometimes there's beauty in imperfections. Thank you so much for watching my beautiful darlings. I hope you liked it and I hope it was really helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and also follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok. Until next time, I'm giving you a lot of beautiful kisses and take care of you. Say hello to Bella, the little baby, little kitty. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Look at her, she's so beautiful. She got a new haircut.